We're now heading into match number five with Cameron and Zedox. Two wins for BBL back to back now. Only two games remaining here for the bottom six team presented by Alienware and Toomey. Still all die time, Kemi. It's uh, time to get a wriggle on for those teams that are still on single digits. E36, Kaizen, Baonam, FaZe. Uh, if they continue to struggle here, it's looking very likely that they won't get many games in the weekly survival. Yeah, this is not a great playing path to start things off. It could be worse, shall be said. It could be worse, but it is still pretty southern. And for the teams that loot up north, looking at Arkinko Predator, Unique, even Kaishin is one of the teams you mentioned that need to really get a leg up. Eh, they might, we might be seeing some alt drops out of them. I don't know if the Dignitas BBL confusion is going to happen a second time. It looks like they're going to be spreading out pretty easily. But yeah, it looks like Kaishin are actually putting themselves away. Oh, I, maybe I spoke too soon on that front. I think they might be trying to race each other for vehicles. But this is three teams all floating next to each other. Where are they going? They're all going El Pozo area. Both of these two teams, a bit of a stark contrast in the last game. First place, 16 kills for BBL. Triple A, 16th place, only two kills. Polar opposites. Come in. This is another team that desperately need points. And so this could be an opportunity for them to pick a few up. The Honey Badger is going to be here in the vehicle. Could be ready to defend. Unfortunately, they have taken a lot of points. So it looks like the cycle continues for Dignitas. Yeah, this is a strange little pull-up, though, from FaZe. Like, AT just kind of sitting here out in the open. Honey Badger can now also push on. Like, I'm not sure exactly if this is the right play from FaZe. They've almost gone half approach, and they've absolutely balls it up. That is awful from FaZe Clan. You either push and you go the full length cam, or, or you just don't do it at all. And in the end, they've kind of just done this, like, little half ass push um, close by as Dignitas, they get fully punished for it, and they're down to two players. Like, this is staggering from FaZe. They're going to be down to probably one more because BBL are on the roam. They got the revive. They're able to save Smash. And now back up as far. Oh, no. FaZe might be the team that are out in 16th place. What is they going on? They were not involved in this fight at all. They elected for this in phase one. Have not been able to do anything. Yuffie's the solo. He's got basically unique and mad clan. Technically three teams here, but really it's two. As soon as he goes with that initial nade, that might be successful. At least gets a lot of damage, and now the spray and the taper just falls short. Two more nades. Yuppie gets caught in the midst of it all. So Kaishin do go out here in 15th position. They're in last. Still on eight points in solo, 16th position. A doozy. The spray to two tap. Heads the head shot, but not the knock that he was looking for. Fate, Dante, both down for unique. That grenade might do the trick, and it does. Two tap actually gets knocked. And that gives the Doozy the opportunity to go for the revive onto Fate, but Lash is there. The Molotov doesn't hit. So the revive is going to come through. Are they going to have an opportunity to get Dante up? That's the real question, because Lash is going for the revive of his own. Two tap is now bleeding up the high ground. His only Lash remaining as the end goes down. Faultlessly, a Doozy and Fate all still standing for Unique. Definitely a winnable situation here against Mad Clan. Faultlessly, he's going to be careful. The angle being held by David, but he hits the headshot. And the Doozy will confirm for Unique. And they're winning this. Lash now, the only one left. And he gets taken out. The Doozy's come to the rescue. He gets the majority of those kills. The Mad Clan will be out. Just This is just one for you, Cam. But look at the map and, uh, and have a look at Zip Yan and Nan. They have no idea if X is there. And that could be something to keep an eye on. FaZe might be able to get... Oh, actually, thank you, Observers. A couple of more points here. Vex will go for it, gets the knock, knows that there's a second one there, will confirm the kill while he can't get traded. And Zip Yen. Oh, Vex just open. spotted him. No Throw cover. the nade. Quickly. Just shoot him. Don't worry about the nade. Just, just shoot him. He's out in the open. He gets the nade to land, but now he's down to just 11 health. That blue moving as well. I thought maybe he could have just put the nade away and just shot him. He's out in the open with no cover. Vex goes down. They can't get the revive. Of course, he got the elimination. So FaZe walk away with two points from this game. 11 overall. Unique have just lost. Fate and faultlessly, a doozy in a solo situation. Savior, gone. A doozy, another big kill. Malman falls for Na'Vi, and all of a sudden, it's all kicking off here for phase four. The fire, it's spread onto a doozy. It's going to be Yanli with the final oh. shot, but that wasn't <laughs> coming in. Look Rumble. at the car pile up. <laughs> Ready to smash him like a pancake. Sample. Not going to do it. That one looks good. Down to 42. Or something like that. Very, very low. 
Dimple healing on up, but he only has bandages remaining, so he oh is sending it on foot. He's, He's going to get both. inside. I mean, he might. He just might. Calling it. I think he will. Unless they push this. Uh, they've realized, okay, he's made it in. They're going to push this. This is smart. Holding inside of the bush. They haven't seen him. He's going to get one. He should be able to get a second. No, just falls short. Young B at least gets the trade immediately. And now can get the revival to God Ace. And that pushes FaZe into the bottom three. Baonam United onto 12 points. Picks him up. Puts him back into the smoke. I don't know how many more teams are going to be able to fit on that hill. BBL right now trying to defend from Whoa. his end by AAA, but Gems with the angle. Mert's there for the trade. But what can Jairz do to try and answer back? Yeah, they got the numbers. We'll focus on AAP pushing on to game home. McMoo with the nade. He'll throw that one out. Looking for Silent Knight. Already down to half health. CJ taken down, and he's going to be out for the count. Silphy with that one. Nice nade on the McMoo. One for one at the very least here. Archangel Predator lose CJ, but then it's actually 3007 that ended up nading McMoo. I didn't even realize that at first glance. Silphy, though, continues to have a very strong PGC. Gets that kill onto Silent Knight. Big points here for game home. Now up to 31, suddenly into the top six overall. Archangel Predator, also towards the bottom of the standings. They need a couple more kills in this environment. And Algent Bots obliges. He got the knock on the 3007. And this selfie and disgusting remaining. Knows where Mad Dog is. Prepping the flash though, because all he has is smokes remaining. No offensive pieces of utility. At least the has a good He's been picked up and has an opportunity for the revive. Selfie so swinging out the side. Heavy damage on the Mad Dog drops him down. It is just Agenbot remaining, but while all this is happening, Enter Force are sending in shots from the high ground, dealing extra damage, extra points of chip onto the HP. AAP is out. Game Home might not have a lot longer to live themselves, but they have vehicles. They might have no other option but to send it into the circle as Mikmoo is not getting revived. Indigo has the shots there. Yeah, it should mention now, of course, eight teams remain, make it seven as uh, JS is eliminated, but that means for E36, they're going to be guaranteed at least one place per point. It's looking increasingly likely that FaZe will be second last going into the last game after this, right? I don't know we talk about it, but it, it is such a big talking point going into the next game. Star-Lord, maybe a chance. As soon as Disgusting goes to the left, he goes like shooting, can't hit the shots, someone else will, and it is Indigo. Fortunately for Enter Force, it's on the same team. They get the kill point. That's big. And so is this circle for phase six. Sonic's still inside of this compound. They have to go for it. Speaking of going for it, Enter Force pushing onto GEX. It's Indigo who got that initial knock onto Zennet. Amana over the backside. They should be able to deal with Yan Lee. Headshot, but they lose out. SSR saves the day for GEX. A calamity over there. Five teams left. Yeah, and if Petrichord wasn't in the middle of, well, their death, they might have had an angle. But now GEX have the perfect opportunity and the timing to get the revives. And now New Happy and BBL, the two fighters on the south side, have to deal with each other before pushing into Sonics and GEX territory. We'll see how they play once they leave the building. This circle is actually really good for the Sonics. Because as you mentioned, if they, they can get pinned down by the high ground teams. However, now that New Happy... Their best opportunity is to swing out towards the right. That gives Sonics the, the chance to do the same thing on the left side. It is all going to be on Merge to see if he can't ruin Sonic's plans. And SSR, well, he's doing that to New Happy. A good knock already. HS there attempting to trade it out with the grenade, but the doesn't land where it should. That one looks better. Whoa. But SSR is already on the retreat. Has a grenade of his own to try oh. and finish the kill. Follow it. Yeah, I thought that might have actually got the job done, but somehow uh, the town player stays alive. Zip yet. Oh, no, never mind. SSR just deals with that. HS suddenly. Well, this is going to be a win for Sonics, which I'm just going to say, why are Sonics still at that building? You're hearing the commotion going on. And they're not going to let any rat ruin that for them. Yeah, you got to be careful, though. You, I mean, you know that there's a player on a roof and you're just kind of standing out in the open. Mine got caught. Fortunately, didn't get knocked down. That could have been disastrous if... Uh, GEX then had it pushed on this. HS has actually seen Mert, and he's going to spoil his party. Oh, never mind, Yan Lee! Domes HS from New Happy. That's big for GEX. Gets them at least into third place minimum. For Mert, that's as well. Top three for BBL. Otherwise, it was looking like oh, fourth place. He does get that knock on the mind. That's exactly what I said was about to happen, and he did it anyway. GEX, if they've got any nades, they could really spoil the party here. Even as a duo, right now, technically it's a two versus three. Two versus two because one of them is stuck on the revive. Yan Li, still not exactly sure on where exactly the, the Sonics have been able to rotate to. 
thinks that someone is on the low ground, gonna try and sorry, and sorry. That the head spotted. Going for the spray, going for the damage. Only gets half HP, and now the revive has come through. Mime has been healed on up, so now it's a proper four versus two. The opportunity might have just slipped away from GEX. Tiggleton. Big one from James. Shrimps here to close that out. Sonics do not falter. They get the job done. They probably made that look a little bit more tense than it really was.